are doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript Algorithms and Data Structures Beta, Learn Local Storage by Building a To-Do App, Step 38. All right, just to let you know, buckle up, because this one's going to be very, very long, uh, you know, relatively speaking. Anyway, so now we're going to need to remove the task from the DOM using remove and from the task data array using splice. OK, so splice is an array method that modifies arrays by removing, replacing or adding elements at a specified, pardon me, at a specified index while also returning the removed elements. OK. Uh, it can take up to three arguments. The first one is the mandatory index at which to start. The second is the number of items to remove. And the third is the optional replacement element. So here's an example. We've got const fruits. We've got mangoes, dates, cherries, bananas, and something else, apples, right? Uh, so now we're going to remove the date and cherry from the array starting at index one, all right? So we're going to say const, re pardon me, const remove fruits equals fruits.splice one comma two, right? So it's going to start at one, zero, one, and it's taken away two of them, these two right here, right? So now when we say console.log fruits, the original array, it's going to go mango, bananas, mango, banana, apple, just like that, because uh, it took t date and cherry out. And when we say console.log remove fruits, this is going to be the date and the cherry in a brand new array like that, because we took them out and put them in this new array. Hopefully that makes sense. Now let's go over to the splice method over at MDM to go a little bit deeper on this, all right? So the splice method of array instances changes the contents of an array by removing or replacing existing elements and or adding new elements in place. We don't need to know, know this part right now, right? So const months, all right? So we've got a, a, an array of months, January, March, April, and June. So if we want to do months.splice, one, zero, feb, we're going to start at one, zero, one at March, all right? We're not going to remove anything. And then we're going to splice in Feb. So right before the one, we're going to put February. So now we've got January, February, March, April, and June, okay? So now that this is out what the array looks like, uh, what we want to do is do a month dot splice for one May, right? So we're going to start at index four, zero, one, two, three, four. We're not doing this one anymore because we spliced February into it, right? Uh, and this is a permanent change. So four is going to be June, okay? We're going to remove one, so we're removing June, and then we're going to splice in May, okay? So we've got January, February, March, April, and May now because we removed June, replaced it with May, okay? So this is one way we can rep replace stuff in arrays uh, without using the replace method, I guess. Anyway, so now that we've got that covered somewhat. Uh, let's go on to what we're supposed to do. So now we're going to use the remove method to remove the parent element of the button L from the DOM, right? Uh, then we're going to use splice to remove the task from task data from the task data array. We'll pass in the data R index and one as the arguments of our splice, right? And then we're going to uh, what am I talking about? The data R index is the index to start and one is the number of items to remove. All right, so it's a little bit convoluted, but let's get through it, all right? Because this is what's gonna happen. This is how we're gonna delete stuff. Uh, so first we're gonna use the remove method to remove the parent element of the button L from the DOM. So we're gonna say button L, button L dot parent element, all right? So some, like it, usually we would use like class list, but actually now we're going to be using uh, parent element. And now we're going to say dot remove, dot remove, all right, just like that. So what this is doing is the button L that's being passed in, okay? So remember, where are we? Delete task button L. So the button L is going to be this button right here, this whole button element right here, okay? And then... Uh, because remember, we've got the delete task. Uh, we've got the on click whenever we click. Let's set it up real quick. Whenever we've got something in there, we've got this. So when we click this, we're going to do the delete task uh, function, which is this thing we're building right here, right? So the button L is the parameter. And this is the button element that we're talking about, this whole thing. So... 
we've got button l dot parent element dot remove. So the parent element of button is this entire element right here, the div element, okay? So now we're gonna remove it. So when we click delete, it removes the whole thing, okay? Uh, and then after that, what we're gonna do is pass in array index and one. What are we doing? But yeah, then we're gonna use the splice to remove the task from the task data array. So not only are we removing it, what are we doing? Oh yeah, this is to search for it. And then inside of this task data array, where this is right now, what we're gonna do is say, ah. Uh, what are we doing? Task data array, let's do, drop a semicolon. We'll say uh, task data dot splice. And then we're going to remove this thing right here. Uh, no, no, not like that though. Like this. This thing right here. Come on. Comma one. We're only going to remove one thing from data R index. So remember, data R index is task data dot find index item. All right. And the item, the item is going to be whatever's in the array so far, right? Like it used to be. Uh, and then, uh, what is it? And then we're going to do item.id needs to equal button L dot parent element dot ID. Well, now that this is set up, let me put it, let me do this one more time. I told you this was going to be a long one. All right, there we go. Uh, so now we've got this one. So the, the item.id is going to be this with the uh, date thing in it. Where was the date thing? Uh, oh yeah, the date.now right here. Remember the hyphen and the date.now. Uh, so we've got that as the ID and it's looking for that ID. And if they both equal, what we're gonna do is the thing where we're gonna remove this whole thing. And we're also gonna splice out that from this right here, right? So now when we press delete, it's gone. Oh, yay. So anyway, hopefully that makes sense. Um, if you just look at it and you track it one thing at a time, you'll understand what's going on. And then you can uh, check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 39. And we'll see you next time.